I saw the movie The Hunger Games and uh, strangely enough I didn't think about the Romans and the gladiators but I thought much more about America in 2012 where we really are of course we are not talking about uh, uh, children that are uh, forced to to fight for the pleasure of some people uh, to keep the balance the way it is because hypocritically the American society doesn't do that on the face of the people but through the laws that they create they practically limit your freedom in many possible ways and in many possible circumstances for women, gays, unions, blacks, Hispanics, you name it, voting rights and we will talk about Trayvon uh, as well Trayvon uh, and, and the drama of this kid this is what exactly is if you look at our society it's not important that you show the killing of a person the important thing is that you accept the fact that these people can die and this is what's happening with 50 million people in poverty and 60 million people without uh, uninsured not, they are uninsured without health care this is what America is it's individualism. I mean, I want to survive and if there is 1% of the population that is fine for that and they can kill the other 99%, that's fine. You know, there are many ways to kill your youth, your people. As it happened to Trayvon, for instance, with indifference, with racism. There are many ways to put them in the street without an education, without supporting them so that they are not in the street and put them straight in the hands of drug dealers or just make them feeling comfortable at the, day, at the idea that they go and get drunk every freaking minute from college, from actually from high school to college and so on as if this doesn't have any impact at all on their health and on their uh, uh, a yeah, personal personality it's not by chance the United States is the country in the world where mostly mostly everybody goes to a therapist the weakness of of the people is so strong that they need a therapist hey kid you don't feel well take a pill drink a beer come on take three pills take two beers take a shot drink, smoke, use drugs, it doesn't matter and this is not being moralist actually I am open-minded and I'm in favor of legalizing marijuana but the point is not that, the point is that you are putting your kids in the hands of being killed and you don't care and these, these, kills, is, sorry, and these kids are poor, they care less and these, these kids are black they care even less and if these kids are Hispanic or immigrant even less they can die you don't need to kill them or they don't, don't need to kill each other sometimes they do in gangs and so on but you are happy for that or you are indifferent about their as it happened in the movie just remember you have to dress well to die because you are suspicious I mean you have no sponsors like in the hunger so if you have more sponsors they can help you to survive but if you have hoodie or you dress with a mini skirts you can be raped or you can be killed because it's your fault remember it's your fault kid you made the wrong choice you didn't follow the suggestion of how to wear so they are not target it's not important that you shouldn't be raped and you shouldn't be killed in any way no matter which kind of race or situation you are that's irrelevant in this society this is irrelevant remember don't dress in the wrong way 
because you have no sponsors like in the movie and like in the movie they create a perfect one percent society which their own rules in which at the very end they can decide if you have, can have two winners or one winner and they change the rules but the winner cannot decide what he wants to do if he want to kill himself or you want to survive because you are breaking the rules and someone else will pay for that so they create special rules special laws at the point that they feel comfortable whatever they do even if it's against the real law of life and not the one that they wrote and if you die it doesn't matter and remember you are a bad black kid so and you are poor uh, well we have too many kids in this society so let's get rid of some of them let's put them fighting against each other in the street we don't need yes you don't need to have an arena the arena is uh, just outside in the suburbs in all the areas in which practically these kids they cannot develop normally as they should they have no school they don't go to school and they don't find a job a day and we have people candidates like Santorums, Mitt Romney and so on that they sponsor this idea that you don't have to go to school isn't that funny these people are killing our society with a lot of rules and roles in which they want to invade the womb of a woman they want to invade the privacy of a gay couple they want to shut kids that are poor and black or they want just to convince Hispanic to self-deport themselves somewhere or destroy the union so you have no protection against the abuses of the oligarchy of the corporations that's the way they think that's the way they want you to become and they'd be happy for that like at the end of the movie that they have to thank for being alive not to kick these people in the ass and say fuck off why don't you go and fight instead of sending me and do something useful useful for this society rather than be a parasite as you are with your one percent so they invented this society with god guns gay and now gynecology practically that is not dissimilar from the hunger game society oh in that society you can choose the weapon to kill you know it doesn't matter just use it could be you could stop people you can make them explode you can use your arrow and bows and everything and uh, but that's the concept when you see, for instance, the array, uh, 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 array that uh, during Christmas time with Santa Claus on one side, they teach kids of five years old to use a rifle, well, you clearly understand that you want them to eliminate themselves, to kill each other in a way or another, so they can only the top of the cream can survive in this society and exactly as in the movie exactly as in the movie they convince the same people to vote for them to support them the same kids that go and die as our kids in iraq in in afghanistan or in the streets of detroit or in the south or in alabama or uh, shot, shot by law as we know Trayvon Lowe's and they convince the same people that they are doing the right things like the strong guy in the movie the strong uh, teenager that he fights to kill everybody they convince like Republicans they convince everybody that they, if they fight they will win and they convince them that someone else is screwing you which is the, the other teenager that is shooting at you that is trying to kill you not them not the one percent and the ICO of the cake, of course, that you have this kind of bumper stickers. But not only that, you have laws practically proposed by Republicans that are against anti-bullying laws. Like Christian people, fucking Christian people, they, they think that bullying is right if it means 
that their moral beliefs are touched so you can bully a gay you can bully a person that is handicapped if your moral beliefs are good so it's like trying to eliminate people that are not like you in the top of the society this is the way we are this is the hunger games usa hunger games usa hunger games usa hunger games isn't that interesting that they kill you since you were born practically with a shitty health care and that you cannot protect yourself against pre-existing condition then they send you to college and you have to pay your ass off and you start your working life in debt if you succeed in college that's their concept they want to forge these teenagers to survive so that only the one percent survive but isn't that strange that the one percent survives they are the one that they got the money to survive not the other ones they, they don't have the money and they don't have equal conditions to survive because they don't have enough money to compete even if their IQs are higher than the one percent of the IQs that survive isn't that shitty that's America